<laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know, that's the well, tough part. That's like kind of already. Mine's at a great, on the great phone. height. Just, oh, I'll just never know. touch it. Or other things. If I need to get on my sit on phone books. I don't think it did anything. Oh, well. We're ready to go at all. Adam, do you want to switch cameras at all, or you don't need to? Did she show you how to do it? I don't know how to do it. Well, go ahead and come on over here then. Grab the door. Okay. We'll call to order the regular meeting of the Tracy City Council for Monday, August 14, 2017. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stand for the invocation. Remain standing. Pastor. Good evening, all. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, send down upon those who hold office in this town of Tracy, Minnesota, the spirit of wisdom, charity, and justice, that with steadfast purpose they may faithfully serve in their offices to promote the well-being of all people. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a good night. You too. Okay, we got approval of our minutes from our meeting on uh, July 24th with the working meeting and the regular meeting. Anybody have any questions or comments about that? Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And next we have approval of the agenda. Uh, and we have two deletions from the agenda. We have 9E and 9F. We also have um, 9M, call for a closed session for Ask Me. That will not be until the next council meeting next council meeting yeah. should we get rid of that okay so then that uh, deleted that off of 16 as well the closed session okay. Is there anything else and then i highlighted the two additions that we have on there was nine O is really not an addition it was enclosed in your paperwork but diane forgot to list it on the yep. front page of the agenda and that was eda coordinator position under nine O, and then under nine or excuse me 11H, uh, resolution 2017-64, approving the change order for phase one infrastructure improvements. And that is what Chris was talking to you about on 4 Street East, that additional um, last uh, block. Oh, no. Yep, yep. Okay. I move approval as amended. Second. Right. Motion made and second. Any discussion? I, I will say, though, that uh, for those that are listening, uh, I know that there was some interest about uh, the garage uh, that was mentioned in the paper that we're getting off of the agenda 9E. There has been no decision made about adding a police garage to the, uh, the downtown building. We still have discussions about that. There's other options other than using that uh, site. So just because we had it taken off, I want people to know if they're interested in that, that we will be discussing this at future meetings, but no decision has been made about that. All right, all in favor of the agenda, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Public comment, anybody from the public uh, have anything? I'll get you quick there, Tara. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody from the public have anything, nothing but on the agenda? No, public hearing, no. Reports, no. Well, actually, report. Tara, do you want to talk? Go ahead, we just do it now under reports. That sounds good. Just wanted to touch on a couple things that are further down in the agenda. Um, while I'm here, number one, the EDA coordinator position. Um, some of the EDA board members or Steve can uh, fill you in on that. Um, their recommendation comes later in the meeting packet, but they're recommending a 32-hour a week contract employee through the Marshall Chamber. Um, they talked about going, maybe going up to 40 in the future once the person gets onboarded and in their roles and, and um, some things get worked out. The timeline as far as that, if you guys choose to proceed that route, it's a flexible timeline. We could we could start the advertising immediately for that position. Um, 
if you guys choose to go that route, the um, onboarding process would be a lot more formal than what I had since we have a pretty good idea of how things have uh, worked. Um, details of the contract if you choose to proceed that route. Uh, Cal and I would work with Madonna on the details of that contract and then bring that contract back um, once everything's ready for, for final approval. Basically what the memo is tonight is from the EDA just asking City Council's approval on uh, that plan. So if anybody has any questions in that regard, um, let me know or Madonna or anybody who sits on the EDA. Um, the other thing is there, real quickly, there's just a pro program income plan in there. It's a single page or two. We discussed it at the last meeting um, about the housing incentives, the recycled funds being able to be used citywide. At that time, I didn't have the revised language uh, for, for city council approval for Steve to sign. Now I do. So it's exactly what we discussed last time. Just have the document here for um, review. And if you want to sign that, if everything's all good, then we can get that submitted to the state. So. Okay. That's all I have for now. Does anybody have any questions? Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, uh, 9A fall cleanup. The only thing I wanted to report is a fall cleanup, I guess, and ask for possibly a motion for you to uh, engage. Um, I plan on having the fall cleanup um, identical to what we did for the spring cleanup earlier. Um, the date that um, I have worked out is September 30th, which is a Saturday, just like it, you know, was before on a Saturday. I do have the the dumpsters are available that day, and um, Ron Vandeke from Ron's Appliance is available that day as well. Excellent. Now that date's fine. I'd make a motion to a fall cleanup on September 30th. Second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you for that. Good having it. Let's hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> we'll leave you right at home. Yes. Yeah, so. All right, next, uh, 9B, uh, Boxcar Day uh, Chamber on sale license for softball field and beer tent and carnival. <clears throat> Any questions about that? Make a motion to approve. Second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Next is uh, Boxcar Days request street closure, admission of carnival, parking lot, parade, uh, vehicles for parade. Any questions about that? Motion approved. Second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Next, uh, the caboose wants a temporary liquor license for a Bloody Mary bar for Boxcar Days. Anybody questions about that? Motion approved. Second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, uh, 9G, uh, reduced price hanger rent. And Madonna has uh, a note for us there in our packets about that. Anything else you want to add to that, Madonna? Uh, no, except for I did not include, I put the amount of $330, which is 165 per qu quarter divided by half. Um, the, the fee for the hanger rents did go up by like $4, I think. So those are just a little bit off. What did he prepay for the whole year? Yes. Okay, and it was none of it was in the rears. It was paying forward. It paid forward, yes. Any other questions? Once well, she poses the questions, if we want to continue to under reduced rate, what's everybody's thoughts? Well, this was the one that he we moved him. Yes. To the hangar that. He's on the asphalt side. Right, so now he's on the asphalt side. So we're trying to decide if we're going to if we're going to charge him more for that or leave it as it is. Yeah, we um, the motion before was made to reduce the amount um, by half because of where because he, was. he was. Yes, on the right. side where the apron apron right. was not um, asphalt. Right. Mm -hmm. So now he's on the side where the um, hang or the approach or whatever the apron is um, asphalt. So do you want to still honor the half price charge for the, the year in advance that he's paid? Yeah, I see what you're saying. I didn't, realize, I didn't you know, realize he already paid it, so I, yeah. I, I personally, for the trouble he went through in the previous years and, and getting us and to keep end numbers out there, I would make a motion that 
leave Unless it. he's willing to come in and give you the money, we just take uh, what we paid. On our agreement. Do. Yep. All right, is there a second for that? I'll second it. All right, motion made second. Any other discussion? So that's for 2017. Through 2000. Through, through May. Through, through May. May. So so next year then we would then we would regular go charge back him the, the regular rate. Yeah. Starting all right. June 1st. Yep. No, I'm good with that. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And uh, next the EDA program income plan and Tara talked about that a little bit and we have that in our packet here. Anybody have any questions about that? Okay, if not, do you have a motion to approve me and uh, Madonna signing off on this? I'd make, make a motion. motion. Second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 9A, proposed ordinance amend to change for sewer usage months. I thought I had a memo in here, but I'm not seeing one. Um, but I bet you it Correct. was 13. in with my um, memo on the water rate study. Um, Currently, right now, our ordinance says that how we um, bill for uh, sewer is it's based on usage months of January, February, and March. According to my research, there's been one other time in history since the um, <coughs> sewer rate was adjusted to, from the months of December, January, and February to January, February, and March. When Shane and I were going through the utility rate study, there was one thing that we really noticed that really stood out from others is that, like, I'll use the snowbirds as an example. Um, none of them have any usage of sewer in those months, so they're not getting charged sewer for the entire year. So I'm proposing that you think about um, possibly using maybe the months of March, April, September, and October instead of... Um, January, February, and March. Okay. What's the reason we don't use all 12 months? Why do we just use the I, summer watering mostly? Yeah. Okay. That is a possibility too, Bill, if that's you know, how you want to entertain. I, I'm looking for anything. The, the snowbirds, mm -hmm. per se, do the neighbors around the snowbirds, do they, you know, they don't have one whole block where it's all snowbirds. They usually have someone around them. Would it be simpler to piggyback? whatever their usage rate is, you know, because you don't have nothing to base it off of. So if the neighbor's using 10 units in December, January, February, whatever, so when they come back in the summer, you charge them that 10 units for an average for that area versus. I guess you could, if I'm understanding what you're saying correctly, Tony, um, me and you could be neighbors to each other and I could use one unit and your family could use 10 units. No, I know, but I'm talking in, comparable. In this, okay, yeah. in the same area? Yeah, I guess, in the same area, comparable okay. type thing. And just so you don't have to juggle everybody else's, we got, I mean, how many snowbirds do we have? Um, I just use snowbirds as an example. Yeah, but there's all kinds of them that do not, I mean, I think there's even some out there that probably use water in the months of January, February, and March, but if they have an old meter, they record that they don't use any in that time frame. So there's there's a variety of different reasons. I just use the snowbird one as an example. Um, we just noticed how many people do not get charged a per usage for sewer. Right. But I, I I see where Tony's point is though. I think what he's saying is that if we have that, instead of charging them nothing, maybe we just use the average of the people around them, so we're at least charging them something. Okay. How our software that, program works is we can design it to tell it what months to base the average. So we're not actually calculating our software, Yourself. software program is doing it. I think the idea of spreading it out over the year, the three months, like you said, in different right. seasons is probably the easiest thing to do. No, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, if you can do that. I, I wasn't where you could do well, it. Why don't you do, do it once a quarter? Right, but they may not read it. I mean, we still may have the issue of people not reading their meters, no right. matter what we do. So I, yeah. 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 And until we're, we're, we get all the until we get all the the reads in, and then we'll be done with it. So yeah, it we're getting matter. pretty close. Yeah. So I, I know I think your uh, uh, option, Madonna, is a good one to work with, other than what we have. So. Do yeah. Have a motion I, I didn't realize it was that simple. Yeah. So yeah. We have a motion then to adopt uh, what Madonna had suggested about uh, the sewer. Well, that's going to be a required ordinance change, isn't it? Yeah, it will. So it'd be. A we would have to call waive for the first hearing. reading and, and yeah. call for a public hearing and. I'd yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd make a motion to waive the first 
reading and have a public hearing on the 28th at 6.45 regarding the changes for the sewer. I'd second that. Motion made and second. Any discussion? All in favor? Oh, or say, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, proposed ordinance next to establish a storm sewer fund. I'm going to let Matt talk sure. about this one. Mr. Mayor, Council, Ms. Peterson requests me to be here in regards to proposed and creating a sewer, storm sewer fund. The way the city has their fund established right now is I believe that there are a couple of general funds or capital improvements, and some of the other departments draw from that. So there's not a specific fund for storm sewer improvements. There's three possible options allowed by statute. One is the, the council or the city creates just a general capital improvement fund, and they use that as they see fit. They can apply that towards projects. Anything. Um, they kind of already have that. That doesn't specify for a certain project. Mm -hmm. um, the other option is to have a infrastructure replacement reserve fund, and that is for improvement of street, bridges, sidewalks, storm sewer. How that is implemented and funded is that the council would approve that fund and they would levy taxes on property and that tax would fund that reserve and infrastructure fund. So it'd be an additional tax that would be imposed upon property owners. But long-term, these are what's, these funds are long-term vision. So, you know, if you know you're gonna have a storm sewer project in the next 20 years, you can kind of plan for that and create money to reduce the amount of money that you need to borrow for that. So this is more of a long-term project and vision. Um, so the infrastructure replacement reserve fund is for streets, roads, sidewalks, um, storm sewer, and you can place a tax on all properties. The, th the third option is a, what they call a storm sewer improvement district, and that is the same sort of fund. However, it's not citywide for all property owners. It's specific to the area where the storm sewer improvement project is going to occur. So it's similar to a special assessment, mm -hmm. but instead of assessing the properties by a assessment, you levy taxes on those properties within that area and then collect the funds and use that towards the project. Mm -hmm. So one is citywide, one is project-wide or project-specific. Um, so there's a couple options that the city has in regards to funding those projects in the future. And depending upon what the city wants to do, uh, we can create that. The, the latter two require an ordinance and require that it be passed by two thirds of the council, publish um, notice of that, have a public hearing. Um, with the infrastructure replacement reserve fund, the public can petition against that. And so there are some Meaning like the establishment of it? Correct. And then they can be heard on that and the city can still proceed on that. But um, there are some benefits to creating <coughs> reserve funds because obviously special assessments, there's appeals mm -hmm. and that can be costly and uncertain. However, these funds, if you create them, they give you some funds there that you know are gonna be there and you can use towards planning on your borrowing. So it's more of a long-term goal and vision on how the city wants to fund these projects. It reduces the amount that the city has to borrow, but it does increase the taxes that will be imposed upon property owners. So um, that is an additional item that you may face. Sure. Okay. When I talked to Matt, I um, one of the things that, I, that sparked my attention was if we do number three, um, that would be similar to what we do for the water tower that you know uh, that uh, charge that is on everybody every parcel in this town I believe it's, it's either the $15 one or the $30 one one is recyclable and one is that surcharge and it's for a specific amount of time and a specific amount and, and then it's not like a percentage or anything I mean it would be just a one-time charge that everybody would pay on their taxes annually that can go into you know like the storm sewer you know, to pay for the storm sewer. I don't know if you want to establish an amount. We know from rural development that on this project um, alone for phase one 
and two were in about four hundred thousand um, dollars right now. But uh, in storm sewer. Storm sewer, I believe, was four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, I think what Matt had said, though, for option three, though, it, it isn't everybody. It's it only the specific, be. oh, it can be everybody? You can establish the account, right? For the so infrastructure the replacement reserve fund? Yeah, for option two, you could, for but option three, you Sewer district, you create the district, but it has to. But a district couldn't have, be the whole town. It has to be part of the sewer project. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's because I that's what I, okay. that's why I wasn't too keen on three, yeah, because it. That infrastructure replacement fund would qualify on a. Fifteen dollar a year annual tax or what, whatever amount you set. Mm -hmm. And the storm sewer district is only for storm sewer. Right. Where the be. infrastructure is more broader. In, re in some other projects, you can include them. And a town cannot be a district. Could we designate the whole town as a storm sewer district? That's the gray area. <laughs> <laughs> That's the gray area. Because we kind of are. When it comes down to define like a watershed. Like well, usually like what you do system. is you define streets, so it, it's, you know, 4th Street to Morgan. Um, what cities typically do is define the district, and that's Based usually on what related to the storm that. sewer improvement project. Yeah. I, I don't know about the city as a district. I probably would say no. Everything I've read on it is nobody's pushed a test on it and took <laughs> it to court. Sure. <laughs> well, what, wouldn't it be smarter, though, to do option two than option three if you're going to, you know, yeah, I mean, obviously, option two is more clear, thing. and option two gives you the ability to fund other types of projects that right. potentially arise. <clears throat> I mean, without having to, you know, think about, geez, can we have a town as a whole district? To me, option two is probably the best thing because it, it, everything of what we heard about the projects going on, it's something that we all should shoulder the burden for, and not specifically to certain people in the project area because we all right. ultimately benefit from having improvements. So my opinion would be we go with option two and figure out what we got to do with that to get that established because we need to set up a reserve. Does that sound cool? Yep. And if the voters somehow do file a petition, take ten percent, then it, what happens is it, it's placed on the election as a question for yeah. them to vote on. So well, I think we need, need to educate everybody and be educated ourselves, obviously, on what it all involves. Yeah. It's more getting the information out and when and why. Well, you're not going to raise the four hundred thousand dollars in the next year. Two tax years either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not, not at a. Even if you went to thirty dollars a year, it's just. Not it would happen. significantly reduce, hopefully, um, assessments if you need to. Yep. Apply it, yeah, it gives them. you another pool to sure. to apply it from. But. All right. Well, do you have a, a motion for that to pursue option two and then? Uh, we gotta wave readings and blah blah blah. We need we, we need to create it first. So. Oh, we do. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That'll just be the motion to proceed. Because we're gonna have to come up with a dollar amount too, in order to. Right. Correct. So, need I'll make a motion to proceed creating the infrastructure reserve fund for on an annual tax basis. Second. Motion made and second. Any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. No, I don't think so. Okay. Thank you, Matt. Appreciate you coming. If I may be excused. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. See ya. All right, next we got uh, liquor store bar Labor Day weekend, and Madonna has, has that in the packet that people approaching uh, uh, Sandy about opening up the bar. I don't know why we would do that. Uh, we, we, no, uh, my my view is that we should. Yeah, they they'd love to, but she doesn't know where she's gonna get the help. They you know it just isn't worth it. The Eagles has got they're they're I think they're probably gearing up for it, and so I you know, take their Clyde's. best shot at Bonnie it. Bonnie and Clyde's yep. is there, so I yeah you know, I don't. Yep. So leave as is. All right. Uh, next approval of liquor store hours for Labor Day weekend. Sure. So that would have been with it. So that's. Well, does she want to run the well, off sale on Sunday? Sunday? Oh, yeah, that's what it is. You're right. Yeah. Isn't that 11 to 3, was it? Yep, yeah. 11 to 3. I'd make a motion to allow that. Second. second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right. Uh, Chris, we got we had you talking about the phase three next steps. We talked a little bit the working session. I don't know if there's things that you wanted to highlight for the people that are watching on television at all. 
If not, mm -hmm. that's cool too. No, there's not, but I'll use my bi-weekly reminder to sign up for the project newsletter for phase one. That's what I'll use my time for. Thanks. <laughs> All right. How many people are signed up for it, you know? Uh, 40 maybe, give or take. Okay. Well, that's not bad. Okay, next we have uh, the EDA coordinator position, and uh, Tara had highlighted that, and uh, Tony and I are on the board there and what the discussion that we had at the last meeting was to continue with the contract with the Marshall Area Chamber of Commerce for 32 hours uh, and partly the reason why you know I don't want to speak for others but I think partly the reason why we were already with entering into this contract again is because now when we enter into this contract there's going to be clearly defined roles and jobs that the coordinator is specifically going to do so we want to see when that's implemented and everybody's working off the same sheet of music and everybody knows what their responsibilities are, we want to have a track record of about a year to see how that works. To say, since there's no questions about what the responsibilities are, what the city's going to do, what the EDA coordinator is going to do, what the board members on the EDA are going to do. So that was part of the reasoning going behind saying, let's continue and enter into this agreement. So I don't know if Tony has anything else to add, but. I think that's the best option going forward. Um, the, the delineating the, the duties and responsibilities for all parties is going to alleviate it's a lot just of problems. Going to improve it. It's going to be just a can wind up being just a simple addendum to the current contract. If that's yep. all right with anybody, so everybody knows, and uh, you know, people just have to remember that anything that any growth that the EDA generates isn't going to happen overnight it isn't going to happen a year it isn't going to happen two years it it takes a lot of time and there's a lot of labor involved in it um <coughs> doug is the exception rather than the rule that got happened they, and that was a lot of legwork from from the eda side of the house so it's we're getting there it's just going to take time and we could definitely use a person who donates nothing but their time to that right and, it, and it's good to have the EDA coordinator focus on the primary objectives of the EDA, meaning like business retention and bringing in businesses as opposed to having to concentrate and put out other fires that really aren't part of the mission, I would say, anyway, of the EDA. So I don't know if anybody has any questions about that, but that's what the recommendation is. So if there's no other questions, we have a motion then to uh, enter into the agreement or work out the agreement with the uh, Marshall I'd, Chamber. I'd make a motion to notify Marshall Chamber that we're going to do another 12 months or another contract of 40, 30, 30 hours a week. Seconded. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, we got a resolution now, 11A, uh, National Night Out Resolution. We have that. We have a motion to adopt that. Make a motion. Second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 11B, uh, Resolution 2017-58, Closing Fund 606, which is the Tracy Medical Center. Yeah, uh, funds. Any questions about that? We have a motion to sign that resolution. Make that motion. Second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 11C, resolution 2017-59, a gambling permit for the Fire Department Relief Association for their raffle. Make that motion. I'll second that. Motion made and second. All in favor? I've got some discussion oh. <laughs> on that one. Um, passed and adopted. You want 14 August, not 14 October, right? Yep, you're right. 14 October would work for him, but <laughs> it's going to be awful tight. Catch. So we enter in that resolution with that change. Is there a motion, or a motion for that? There's a motion and a second. All right, all in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, resolution 11D, gambling permit at, at Tracy Area Chamber of Commerce for raffle and bingo. I make that motion. Second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 
Uh, 11E, Resolution 2017-61, Authorization to Execute FFA Agreement for Grant or Federal Funds for the Airport. Any questions about that? I'll make that motion to accept that. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 11F, Resolution Approving Gambling Permit for Pheasants Forever. Make that motion. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Maybe getting more gambling permits. We change the name of the city of Las Vegas. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, resolution 2017-63, uh, a Dunnick pay request for the 4th and Morgan Street project. Any questions about that? If this is the one that you wanted to... Yeah, this is Contingent the upon county board approval. Yeah. Yep. I, I would make a motion to approve that resolution contingent upon... County board board approval. approval. Is there a second? I'll second. All right, motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. Uh, 11H, resolution 2017 64, approving change order for phase one infrastructure improvement. That motion. Second. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Right, next is the uh, consent calendar. We got the municipal accounts payable, the relief association minutes from July 3rd, 2017, the planning commission minutes from July 3rd, 2017. Anybody have any questions or comments about that? Motion approved. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? <clears throat> Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right, we got unfinished business. We got the utility rate study. We have that in our packet. I don't know if anything else you wanted to go through, Madonna, other than what was in here. No, um, I gave you several options there, um, kind of giving multiple different case scenarios. Um, so you can see if you want me to review it, I certainly will. Um, if you didn't understand my... I, I just had a couple questions, Madonna, okay. on, the, on your very first page there. The yeah needed for the water revenue and needed for sewer revenue. Yep. Are those numbers based on next year or whenever the bond payments kick in or those actual? Those are actual numbers that were given to me by Jeff Van Buren from the um, USDA Rural Development that when the city uh, bonded for that stuff, we said that this is the amount of that we would collect in revenues. So we are short those dollars in revenues okay. based on what we previously what we said. said. All right. Because yep. I'm sitting here looking at the I looked at the uh, budget. Yep. And it wasn't. I mean, we we're close, but no cigar. Yep. So. That's exactly. This is, and this is basically what we're doing here is we're trying to play catch up from three, four years past where we've made this promise. Correct. We've made the promise, and that's only on phase one and two. Um, and we made the promise that this is where we would be. This is the amount of revenues we've collected. And then what I took off of there was the amounts that the audit report said that we did collect. And that's where I came up with the figures. Okay. I, so I knew it was one of those two. I just wanted to make sure it was on the same okay. sheet. So I'd rather you understand it than, or, yeah. you know, my how I did it, I guess, than anything. Um, our base. This doesn't. This does not address the three-tiered system yet. No, it does not. I figured that we get one step and then yeah I was kind of hoping that by next year we could get the three tier system in there um, I no I understand I don't no, want to say it in this way but I I, I I put as much as I could in no, the I amount of time that. that I had in yep. there, so. it um, I lost my question no <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you're on the money there on the alternative side. Um, you know, that's a little more aggressive than what the council recommended. I like that. That'll get us closer, but there's no way it's going to collect, you know, three no. quarter million dollar shortfall on the sewer side. But you got to, you ain't going to get nowhere unless you take the first step. It isn't uh, a huge jump. Which still there'll be room. The numbers do they reflect the the change in the in the surcharge? Okay. Yes. 
But it's not nothing addressed for the storm sewer yet. No. And we can do that with the other stuff. So, um, I like your I like the alternative numbers. And there's still room to to go up. What Was it fairly easy to read, Tony? Or what? was it fairly easy to read? Or yeah, I, yep, yep. My only question was the numbers we began with and where we got them. Mm -hmm. The rest of it is, yeah, that's. I didn't see any big problem with it at all. It um, to to simplify it on on a on a current bill that was somebody's paying one hundred and sixty three dollars a month for the alternative charges. It's going to be a, you're talking a ten dollar bump, which is a bad. It, it's it addresses a lot of our problem. It doesn't eliminate it, but it's a big step in the right direction. And it's not. You know, nobody likes to see it, but that's not bad. So, um, yeah, that none being said, none of the increases in your asking. No, but they are they're effective. They that's need a big it. thing. Yep. So I. This would be an ordinance change, also, or yes, we would have to have the public hearing and. and I would uh, make a motion to waive the first reading and um, hold a public hearing on the twenty eighth. To adopt the alternative rate structure that Madonna spent so much time on, and get this mess going. All right, is there a second for that? I second. second. What what time? Well, we have one at six forty-five. Six forty-five. Do so you want to do six fifty? Six fifty. Okay. There's a second. I second it. Yeah. All right. Any other discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And as long as we're on that and motion or ordinance changes and stuff, the $2 surcharge, what is the balance of that fund? I mean, have we got, is that reasonably healthy or getting healthy or? Um, what I'll tell you about the $2 fund, Tony, is that even though the, the ordinance specifically stated it was supposed to be kept in another fund, it's all been kept in the surcharge fund. However, our auditors have made an adjustment each and every year to take part of the surcharge money and, and combine it into both the water and the sewer funds to eliminate <coughs> that <coughs> amount from the surcharge and put it into those funds because those are the funds more than likely that are going to pay for the underground work. The balance of the fund in the surcharge right now, I looked earlier today, and I want to say it was $163,000. All right. The only reason I bring it up, when, when I brought this up and brought it to the attention the first time, that was the first step. And once that fund got healthy, the, the plan was to actually incorporate the curb stop into the being paid out of that fund because the city benefits more from the curb stop than the property owner. Property owners paying for it um, through that surcharge. Basically, I would like to see if we could amend that ordinance to include that the city takes care of the, the curb stop and the homeowner is only responsible from the stop to the house. If that's what I'd like to see. Oh no, they are responsible. For the stop. Yeah, city's up to the stop. And some cities do it. That yeah, way. some cities do it the way we do it. No, I would too, because you're right. It's it's the cities. I mean, to that's how we turn their water, water on, and water on and off. Yeah. Yeah. So it, and that was the the discussion when we first come up with this, was to build it mm -hmm. until the time we could do that. And I think that would. That's just my opinion. I'd like to see that if we can do that. I would agree. Well, that's a good. Uh, then do we need to start changing the way we're doing that funding then so the two dollars just goes to the right fund? Is that something? From what I'm understanding from you is you're saying that you want to eliminate that extra two dollars. No. No, no, no. No. We just want to change the he wants to change the ordinance. I want to change the ordinance that that two dollars was being collected for so that the homeowner is no longer responsible for the curb stop the city is. Right. So the two dollars would continue. The two dollars would continue. That's cheap insurance. Or it's just designed for a specific. It's right. designed to re yeah to replace that. But the homeowner. So if a curb stop goes out, the city would now pay for that, not the homeowner. 
Well, if we change the ordinance. If we change the like ordinance. reimbursed from five years ago? <laughs> Good luck. No, do you need to change Does that make something? sense? It does. Um, I'm going to have to have Matt do a little bit of research because I think there's more than one ordinance that, that uh, talks about the curb stop. It might be some in the water department, too. Yeah, I'm thinking that there's more than one okay. ordinance that would have to be. So, but if we get it on the agenda and have yeah, it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good. The, the point is taken. It is a good yeah. point that it's mostly the city that benefits from that, having that. But you were saying the way the auditors always move the money. Yep. Is that just something you internally need to do, or we're going to keep that way, or does it really matter? They did it a couple of years, probably when they came three years ago already. Three, yeah, I think three or four years ago, or whatever, when they came already, they did that themselves because of how the ordinance reads that it was supposed to be kept separate. And it never was from when they first okay. originally established it. It was all part of that. And they're also the same ones that eliminated where, um, you know, like there was bond payments being paid out of the surcharge fund and, and, and things like that. So they read the ordinance, said what the ordinance was supposed to do, uh, took the amount or left the amount in the surcharge fund for that um, per se $2 and then transferred or did an internal journal entry to move the, the funds to distribute them into to the, the waters, the water and the sewer funds for the reasons of repair maintenance of the underground utilities. Okay. Good. Thank you for the work on that, Madonna. You're Appreciate welcome. that. That was we're coming to a good resolution there with the water rates. Okay, uh, next the, the special assessment hookup fees. Any discussion about that at all? We got thanks for sending the email. Um, do straight math and, and we don't know exactly what the bonds gonna how we're doing the bond yet but right now I think you could probably do a, an improvement bond and keep depending upon how we run it out keep the special assessments or do a hookup fee to somewhere in that $2,500 range to $3,000 range per home depending upon which way you do it so it's or each property that's affected. But you've got to look at it closer to see what our actual costs are going to be and keep it right at that whatever it takes minimum, and I think we can do it. Maybe. Is there, you're, you're including the water and sewer, Tony, yeah. and that is what you're saying? Yeah. Is there any way that we could also include on that the sump pump hookup for future to alleviate any issue about the homeowner having to pay for it? We just have that. It, we Maybe it needs to be a little higher or something, but... I just think that as we go forward, we we should make sure that that gets done. You're talking about from the property line to the house, right? Well, not, not the stub, but the... From the house to the stub, I think is what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, right, from yeah. the house to the stub. Yeah. That gets into that gray area when you're actually doing improvements for the, for the private party versus... Yeah. But, I mean, it's, yeah. the, it's the advantage of the city to do that. And I don't know, do or do we have something in place now that we can force them to do that? It's in the ordinance that we, if we put a, if we put an intercept line in, they got X number of time to hook up to it, or then there's, I don't know if that's fines or penalties. What I've been telling people, it's not clear in the ordinance, but I tell people is if you have the interceptor line available, you can no longer discharge into the sanitary sewer during the winter months. Right. You can still dis discharge outside. You know whatever it, you want to water your lawn or and i understand that but we all know how hard it is to police that too yep. but my I guess my only thought is is it, it wouldn't it be nice if it, we just made sure it was done and then we don't have any issue about because um, we're not going to go in and check that i mean it's it'd be very difficult to do i'll check some on service calls but uh, or is it is it more actually paying to put it in which I don't know if we can get away with, or is it better for us to tighten up our ordinances to make them? It'd be easier to enforce if you did one or the other. But the, the ordinance, the ordinance has to be addressed. It's or, really or could we, or could we do it this way? Then could we say that we will put, we will put it in, and and you have to pay for it, and if you don't, then we'll assess it to your. To well, that you, could, you could do that with the ordinance. I mean, if you're given X number of change the ordinance where you're given, okay, we just ran an intercept line, you got X number of days to comply. If you don't comply, we'll put it in and put it on your taxes. I think, you know, run that by math. Because one of the other reasons I think I, I'm thinking about that is because as people are talking to me, they're like, okay, now I got to try and find a plumber. 
I got to, you know, doing all this. To me, while we're there doing it, I would think it'd make more sense just to do it. And that way we know it's done. We can get a fair price for, for everybody. And, and then they can either pay for it up front or we can put it, you know, assess it to their, to their taxes. And then we know so the done. tricky part might be getting the easement, but maybe the ordinance would address that. Well, if we can look into it, I just think there's got to be a way to do that to I just think there's got to be a way to do that to make it simply simpler for everybody. Mm -hmm. And then we don't have to, you know, we don't have to worry about it. But yeah, going back. Some don't, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, not everybody has a sum phone. So, I, you know, it's. Yeah, that's something to bring up at the next planning commission and have them look at the ordinances to get some ideas as to what can be changed and bring it back. I just think it would be it'd be a lot a lot better for everybody if we could. Um, but getting back to the uh, the hookups, I'm I'm in favor of that. It's just simple math. There's, I think there's a couple other ways we can. Yeah. You know, we just <laughs> talked about it earlier that we could make it work out to. I think pure math and you know, I think three thousand dollars is a fair is a is a fair price, and we've we that's kind of the number that's been there anyway, but. Um, Do we need? And that would be sufficient then to cover our obligations under the bond? Pretty uh, close. Yeah, I thought the obligation was closer to five. It's half million, yeah. And then wasn't there a hundred hookups? Yeah. So we'd be closer to six. Five thousand. Yeah. yeah. It's fifty five hundred dollars. Okay. But then there's there's enough room to sit down and look at it instead of doing yeah. But some, I mean, certainly less than what the current policy oh, comes yeah. out with. Yeah, and that's not even addressing. That's we've got to do something to address the curb and gutter side of it, and you know, I don't know. We got to look at it closer once we get. But it. even if it was, even if it was five thousand, that's still. Yeah, that's that's palatable. Because to me, I look at two hookups. You got sewer, you got water, so that'd be twenty five hundred dollars for sewer, twenty five hundred dollars for water, compared to sixteen thousand or twenty thousand. Yeah. Uh, is a lot more reasonable than than what we're you know, what we doing. we got a bigger pool to, to do it with and still keep it within. So where do we go from here? You need to look at that and, and come back. Well, I can to, whatever you, numbers. Well, we got to sit down sometime or. Yeah, you know, know. well, we need to, but we still got that. That bond is going to have to be relet because that's a temporary bond. Yes. So, what numbers we have right now aren't really set in stone, right. but they're they're. The chisel marks are there, um, but yeah, to, I think it's manageable to get it in that ballpark to make everybody as happy as you can, you know, by giving them a, you know, a bill like that. But do we? Maybe it's premature yet. But do we want to send anything out yet? Anything we send out, I think, should probably be higher than what the finals. Well, yeah, be. I agree. With but that. still. I don't know. I guess I haven't I don't heard know much. I think people that. understand that it's probably not going to be what the current policy says, but. Yeah, it's, well, yeah. I'm leery of putting any numbers out until yeah. you know what the numbers are. Yeah. But, but if, 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 if fundamentally that we're all right with paying with the homeowner's share through a hookup fee, which is around five or 6000 yeah, whatever, as opposed to what we're doing now, if we on principle think that's adequate and we would pursue that, not knowing exactly what the final numbers are, but but doing it by simple math, and saying that's what we would finance it through it, the hookup. It, it, and that could change by each project, depending right. on how many yes. households. Yes. That's Basically, what we're doing is taking that total dollar amount dividing by the number of households right. that are affected at that time of that project. Right. Households, properties, whatever. But yeah. yeah, it's yeah, because not all of them. I think most of all, well, no, there are some that are only getting sewer and not. Right. Not water, and, and then there's some that's not going to get any, but that's yeah. But they they benefit. I mean, you, well, Sebastian Park, you know, you can, so you got room to to muddle it up. But it's going to be. I think you be better. You better off calling it a, a hookup fee. Either way, it's a tax, mm -hmm. right? So. Versus an assessment, you're saying, so you don't. Well, even assessments, even a tax. Either yeah, way, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. tax. So. It's all terminology. Yeah. So it's just to make it palatable and comply with us to get the lowest possible bond rate. So. All right. Well, just so the record is clear, do we want a motion then to say that as a, as a body, this is 
principally what way we want to go forward from with these projects and how we're going to finance them is through hookup fees and what, what the specific numbers are for a particular project depends on the project. I think, I think we're going to have to pull the, the different um, ordinances that say what the, the percentage is and uh, rescind those ordinances and come into... Yeah. Well, we, we did before the 4th and Morgan. Um, the ordinance was... Uh, whatever you want to say, it was, deleted, or it was turned into a policy, a policy right, versus right, an ordinance that gave the city okay. flexibility. Yeah. But so you still might want to but we want to look revise at that, the policy, yeah. but yeah. and then we should look at that before we yeah. actually say the names and stuff. But, but at least verify that policy, then we can come up with that and take yeah. it. But at least in this case, if we're all in agreement in, in this particular project, it looks to be six thousand dollars or less. Roughly, I mean, because we're, we're taking that dollar number divided it by 100 homes or whatever it is, and it's going to be in that ballpark range. That way, at least people know it's not 12, 15. Not going to be the, yeah. the original numbers that they were looking at. So, and we'll come up with that exact number. Yeah. So, as we get close, as we get close to the end of this summer, once we're at substantial completion, that then we'll know. We'll be able to forecast. You know. It'll, just be some minor things next spring so we should know the final project cost by then and then we can do the math and this temporary bond gets reworked this yeah. December or on 17 or is it oh, I don't recall the schedule on that I don't know that 19 or nine, uh, 18 it would the money was bonded to pay the interest payments through 2018 okay but we could do it earlier mm -hmm. yeah the improvement bond yeah Okay. So at this time we don't. We're just doing a. No, we, right we, we could have a motion on here to say this is principally what we're going to do with our project in the future. Now the fund, instead of uh, doing hookup fees, I think I, it's pretty good to have that. I, I would make that motion. Is there a second? Yeah. Motion made and second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. All right, uh, new business, nothing. Mayor, council communications, anybody have anything they want to present have been contacted about? Like I think we all were contacted about the gardens. Right, Lisa Olson. Yep, yep. no, it's true. Yep. Anything else? Make a motion to adjourn. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone.